Okay, tell us about yourself. Uh, my name's Kenny Courageous. I've been wrestling for 18 years. I was trained in a little place in Lake Station called uh, New Wave, and I was trained by a guy named Rex Hart and a guy named Rod Bell, and they had a, a student who actually did a lot of the training named Guy Quebec. So. Uh, what advice do you have for people that want to start, get into pro wrestling? Um, if you're going to do it, do it for real. Take it serious. There's a lot of guys who, who think that they're just going to train a couple of months and then go out on the road and they're going to do something or be something. But there's so much more to know. Every day I learn something new. I have 18 years in the business and I'm still a student. Who are some of the people that you have trained? Oh, I've, tra I've trained... Uh, Chase Richards, uh, uh, Prince Ali, uh, Cade Lee. I've had my hand in helping train uh, all the wide, wild ones. Uh, R Richie Rothschild, Johnny Motley. I'm, I'm currently training, training uh, Canadian Muscle John Bash. I, I'm, I've tra the list is endless. Like I've trained a lot of guys in this area. So. Who are your favorite wrestlers growing up? Oh, all the bad guys. <laughs> all of the bad guys. Uh, Ted DiBiase, loved him. Ric Flair, loved him. I mean, uh, Jake the Snake, loved Jake. Like, all the heels. Vader, love Vader. Vader was great. Um, what would you say is your favorite opportunity you've had in wrestling so far? Oh, man. Um, you know, uh, it's going to sound really crazy, but... Whenever I wrestle someone who's not that good, that to me is a, a very big opportunity. It, because if the match turns out right, everyone's gonna know it's not because of him. <laughs> it's gonna be because of me. And, and the boys know. The fans don't have to know, but the boys know. And that's the important thing to me, so. Do you have any uh, crazy stories of anything that you've seen? Well, is this curious? PG or? <laughs> um, PG. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well there's a lot of stories I can't tell because I've done a lot of things, but, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Okay. Got, I got a great story for you. Um, me and this guy ghetto are tagging and we're tagging against, um, simply marvelous Devon Fury. And, uh, who's actually one of my very best friends and, and PT hustler, who I consider a very good friend still. Um, and they go and they do this spot where I'm in the ring and they shoot me off and they give me a double back elbow and then they both drop an elbow drop and they both go to kip up. Well, Lee makes it. Mar falls right on his butt. Devon falls right on his butt. And uh, I start laughing. I start laughing out loud. Then they start laughing. Then Ghetto starts laughing. Everybody in the, re the arena is laughing at this little armory in, in uh, I believe it was Indianapolis. Everybody's laughing. We get to the back, and this guy, the promoter, Dangerous Bull Don Basher, is like, baby, you got to keep the laughs to the minimum, baby. Because everybody in the back heard, and they started laughing because it was funny. I mean, mistakes happen in the ring, but there's nothing funnier than seeing when your buddies fall when, when they're trying to do something, so. Uh, what kind of injuries have you had in this business? <sighs> Chipped my pelvis, I've blown out both my knees. Uh, I have no, like, I have limited feel in my, finger, my fingertips on both hands. I don't know why, I don't know. I've probably nerve damage or something, but um, back, my back's been messed up for a long time. I uh, tore the lining of my, the right side of my abdomen. Um, I mean, uh, bone spurs in my elbows, uh, black eyes, uh, had my ear pulled where, you where it bleeds. I mean, lots of stuff. I've, you know, dislocated the finger. I mean, it's wrestling, man. So. What is it that motivates you to get in the ring and do what you do so good every single time? You know what? Like, uh, my rule's always been that if, if, I, if I can't do it better than 90% of the guys I'm on the show with, then I don't want to wrestle anymore. So uh, here I am in my mid-30s, and I'm like, well, 18 years of this, I'm ready, I'm ready to pack it up. But every time I wrestle, I'm still one, I still have one of the best matches on the show on a regular basis. So it's kind of hard for me to go, I'm ready to pack it up whenever I'm still competing at a high level. So.